If you're looking to have a career in cybersecurity, but you're coming from an industry that isn't IT, then stay tuned for this video because I'm going to be showing you an excellent free resource that will show you three foundational fundamental things, Linux, Windows, and networking. All three core skills that you're gonna to have to understand to be able to move forward in a cybersecurity career. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. So to have a great career in cybersecurity, most often you will have to have some background, some understanding around IT or information technology. But that doesn't mean that you need to have been an IT person, a sysadmin, a programmer, et cetera, before you got into cybersecurity. We're gonna be showing you some resources today that are just flat out awesome to give you that foundation, that base that you need, so then when you're learning cybersecurity concepts, it makes sense in how you can apply it. Now, InfoSec and IT aren't exactly the same. So I work in information security, but I wouldn't say I work in IT. There is some heavy intersection between the two though, and that's why we wanna do this. I was inspired for, to make this video because if you're a person who works in marketing or works in sales or works in retail, manufacturing, whatever, and you want to get into cybersecurity, it may seem a little overwhelming when you watch a cyber video and there's like all sorts of IT stuff going on. So in order to curate it and give you the fastest path between here and there, we're gonna be looking at it today. So the resource is called Cyber Aces and it is from SANS. Now we're gonna jump onto the computer so I can show you exactly how you can take advantage of it. But this is a really, really great resource. SANS is kind of an industry leader in providing cybersecurity education and skill and they're incredibly expensive. But this uh, you know, curriculum or this training is free and I love it. Thank you so much to SANS for putting this together. I went through some of the content, it is excellent. Now real quick, if you're new here, my name's Jerry Osher and this is Simply Cyber. It's a YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further, faster. And on this channel, we dive deep into labs and we talk about the industry and stuff. And sometimes we're focusing on videos that are coming from feedback I'm getting from the community. I talk to a bunch of different people who are in this position of not understanding how to break into cyber and I said you got to get the foundation pieces first so that's what this is going to do so it's absolutely free all it's going to take is your time your focus and your commitment to want to get it okay so real quick I just want to give a shout out to our this video sponsor we talk cyber with Monica it is a podcast they're in the middle of season two if you got some time it's excellent contact Monica Verma is the host of it uh, season one is excellent also and you can check that out so let's hop onto the screen and take a look at how you can launch like accelerate the out of your cyber career. Let's go. This is SANS Cyber Aces. I'll put the link in the description below, but basically it's cyberaces.org, right? Now, what is it? Essentially, it is just three kind of modules of fundamentals. I mentioned it a little while ago. You got, you're gonna cover uh, operating systems, which is Linux or Windows. Those are the popular operating systems that you may be familiar with. There's a bunch of different names for Linux flavors, but you know, Linux, Unix, uh, and Windows, right? And then there's Mac OS, which is also another version of Linux, right? We're gonna be talking about networking. I can't emphasize enough how critically important networking is to cybersecurity. You might be able to like fudge around with uh, operating systems, but networking you do have to understand. And then some system administration you know, kind of going in there and managing the system. And that'll, that'll tie nicely and couple with the operating system. Now, the way the format works is it's broken into three modules, right? They're going to step you through it. First operating systems, we're going to do Linux, then we're going to do Windows. And if you don't have any background in any of this, don't worry, because it literally takes you step by step on setting things up and, and, and then using them, okay? It's very much a hands-on uh, environment. Now you can see here it's open course format, which means anyone, you don't need to register, you can just use it uh, at your leisure or on your schedule, and it's absolutely free. Now you might be asking, why is SANS putting out this free content? SANS is amazing, and they're very expensive typically, but if you think about it, if they can help more people get into the field, then later on when you have a job and you're trying to get your employer to send you to training, perhaps you want to go to SANS, right? So this is in their best interest, and, and you know I appreciate that they do that. So clicking on the view tutorials link, um, you can see here, um, they do Linux, like I mentioned, and then Windows. They do a whole thing on networking, which is awesome, all the different OSI layers. 
And then they get a little bit more technical here with the system administration with writing like, you know, basically some scripts and stuff like that and an introduction to Python. You can kind of think of this as like a bit of a programming introduction. Um, and that's definitely why they put it at the end. So we're just going to click in one here. I do want to highlight, though, that if you are going to do this, you know, you got to be vigilant. Put a, a schedule together of when you're going to start, when you're going to finish, because some of the um, technology that they use, like for this example, like if you're going to run a Mac OS and you're going to use VMware Fusion or, or Fusion, uh, which is a tool that allows you to set up a virtual machine, they tell you how to get it, but it's like a 30 day trial license and that, they explain that to you. So if you get it and then you goof around and you waste time and stuff like that, the license expires and you're going to find yourself in a bad situation. Okay. So you just click into one of the modules, and this is the format for all of the modules, right? They've got the lab handout, so you can print that out if you're more of a, um, you know, a paper in hand kind of learner and you like to read it. Uh, but this is the, you know, your instructor, etc. And this is basically every slide and all the details that you're going to go through in this first module. All right. So basically, this is a lab manual, right? You can print it out if you get stuck, if you if you get lost or whatever, you can you can reference this and you're good to go. Um, pairing with this is this YouTube video, right? It's it's fully embedded. There's Tim talking, and this is how we start, right? So it's pretty much standard kind of boot camp training where you you know you have a set amount of time, you start pushing it, and you go buck wild, right? They do have you um, um, download a Linux uh, VM and install it in your VMware player. So now you've got your personal machine and then you've got the, the VM in there. And the VM is where you're going to be playing around, trying some commands. It's a very much a hands-on keyboard experience, which is what you want if you're trying to like, A, learn the concepts and then B, have them be applicable. Okay, so you're definitely going to love this. Um, one one piece of, I guess, critical feedback that I would uh, provide or, or make you aware of is, um, he, you know, they do go through like core commands. I, I, did, I watched some of these videos um, and you can see here, this is the handout for the Linux com core commands, right? Like these are all Linux commands, LS here. I can't really see it. These are all core Linux commands, right? Copy, move, uh, remove, make directory, etc. But um, the, the lecturer basically just explains kind of like, oh, this is how you would change the directory. This is how you would um, show where you are on the operating system. Like there, what, there isn't really a kind of like overarching scenario or use case that you are talking through and applying. So some of those like um, some of those like sticky lessons learned on like, why would you copy a file versus moving a file, for example, or why would you uh, want to, you know, do... Um, like tail dash F, right? To have like a log file uh, running. Like, why would you want to do that? That That isn't explained. So some of the concepts you may learn, you may forget and or not know when to apply them. So that is a little bit of critical feedback. But um, what I would say based on everything that I've seen here is if you're that individual who wants to get into cyber and you, you literally don't have a background in um, technology or IT, this is going to be just an absolute awesome. And if you think about it for a second, if you remember 50%, 50% of what you study in this curriculum, you're going to be in a way better place than you were before you started the curriculum, right? So I don't think you're going to come out of here being like an IT guru or anything, but you're going to have uh, conceptually understood like what computers are doing and more importantly, how they are communicating with each other because that's the networking piece, which is absolutely super critical. Um, you know, as, as I mentioned, the system administration is more like the programming stuff. Uh, I'd encourage you to go through all three modules, but you know, the operating system and the networking one are, are going to be uh, definitely something you want to take. And if you don't do the system administration one, I think you'll be okay. I'd almost encourage you to say like networking is the priority then operating systems is like a one B and then sysadmin is like a two um, in the, in the, in the scope of importance. Okay. So again, if you are, um, you know, not coming from it, this is absolutely a free killer uh, resource for you to take advantage of. So I hope you do uh, put in the comments below. If you've used this, if you have any experience, um, 
you know, with it or if you're getting stuck on something. I'd love to hear, you know, what your thoughts are about this. Uh, I'm definitely going to be uh, continuing to recommend this to people who reach out to me who are, you know, basically not coming from an IT background because I think this is a, um, a solid, solid primer. Okay, so that's going to do it for this week's episode. Uh, thank you so much. I love all the feedback. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mind blowing. If you're getting value, hit the thumbs up so other people can find it. If you want, sub. That'd be awesome. Uh, I push videos every Monday at noon. And if you're catching this like in real time, the week of early May 2021, then I'm doing a live stream this Thursday, um, just as a quick aside, with John Helmus, who's in OSCP, which is like basically like a legit bad bad a bad 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 dude when it comes to pen testing and we're actually going to be taking on an ai in a cyber war simulation of john's going to be attacking a energy and oil uh refinery uh and trying to compromise and take it down and the ai is going to be defending doing kind of sec ops work so if that's interesting to you come hang out with us it'll be live there'll be a lot of chatter a lot of chit chat in the comments and we'll have some fun all right so until next time stay secure 